It is Animated Wednesday again, alright? It's where we all just come together, just with me. Little tribe on YouTube, you know, we just come together on Animated Wednesday. And, oh my gosh. Um, so right now, we are just sitting here. And I just got a water, that's it. And apparently, uh... We're watching Animated Wednesday, so we're just going to be watching five videos. So let's get to it. This happened when I was in middle school. My school was kind of old building and some places were almost worn out. The school had three main bathrooms. Two were pretty maintained, but the last one was different. It was separated from most of the other buildings. What the heck? The floor was always dirty, and there were six stalls, but only three had doors, and even those doors were all broken up. I hated ever That's going there. there. Well, not just me. All the girls hated that gross place. Anyway, one day, while I was in the classroom chattering with my friends, I had to use the bathroom so bad. Unfortunately, that gross bathroom was the closest, and furthermore, I didn't want to try my luck nah, to dumb. That's dumb. So I went inside, and I could say that it was the grossest smell I've ever smelled. I entered the last stall, which was much cleaner than the others in a hurry, and had to keep my pants not touching the floor. Afterward, I went to the sink to wash my hands. The inside of the bathroom was silent. And all I could hear was the sound of water running from the faucet. Then I heard a tapping sound. I turned off the tap and glanced up at the mirror, but I couldn't see anything because the surface of the mirror was so dirty. Suck. So I looked down, washed my hands, and started to dry them You're gonna... until I heard a tapping noise again. I grabbed some paper towel and slowly wiped off the mirror. And at that moment, I finally saw it. It was visible. There was a hand that was out of one of the restroom stall, tapping on the surface of the door. The Those hell? fingers were pale white and skinny as a bone. However, when I quickly turned around, the fingers were vanished. I couldn't believe what I'd seen. So I just thought myself that let's just wash it and leave it as I turned around and stood in front of the mirror. Then I saw my reflection very clearly. That was the worst part in my story. I was smiling at me. I mean, the reflection of me was literally smiling with mouth wide open. I couldn't move. I just glanced at the mirror and froze in fear and then I heard the tapping noise again. To my surprise, when I looked closely at the mirror, I noticed that my reflection was tapping on the mirror to get my attention, and on the other hand, it was beckoning to me. I screamed in fear, threw my paper towel, and ran away from the bathroom. As I came back to the classroom, I told my friends what I'd seen, but they never movies. believed me. After that day, I never went into that bathroom again. To this day, I don't want to know what I saw in there. And I'm still a bit paranoid about mirrors. Well, I'll never forget what I saw for the rest of my life. They scared the freak out of me. Y'all just, y'all just see me just, just let's, go, let's go ahead and do, like, so what Based is there in China, for a female bus driver was driving when three bullies on the bus suddenly approached her. They began threatening her and told her to stop the bus immediately. Other passengers were ignoring the situation. But one middle-aged man stood up and tried to stop them. However, showing no mercy, they started beating him. The bullies stopped No! Us. No! Uh-uh! No! No one go 
gonna be coming up and beating on me. I'm gonna. Y'all gotta make sure y'all got cameras on there and police officers on there. Like, make sure they hide in, like, like in the middle of the place. So when they go, but freeze. Yeah, that's, they gonna be like. Drag that. the driver into the woods nearby, and after a while, return to the bus. It was certain that the driver was sexually harassed by them. Even though she returned with a terrible look on her face, her expression was still very calm. The driver then ordered the middle-aged man to get off the bus right away. The man complained to the driver that he was the only person trying to save her, but the driver shouted that she wouldn't start until the man got off. The man resisted, but the passengers joined in and forced him out of the bus with his luggage, and then the bus started to drive off. That's messed up. The man was upset, but there was nothing he could do. So he just looked at the back of the bus while it left him behind. Staring at the back of the bus, he was suddenly shocked. When the bus entered the curb, it did not slow down. And then it dropped down a cliff. The bus driver didn't reduce the speed on purpose. All the passengers on the bus died, except for the man who was kicked off the bus. This is a story about a dream. There was a person who was preparing for a trip. After he bought a plane ticket, he waited a few days with excitement and finally fell asleep a day before the trip. And he had a weird dream. He saw a woman in his dream wearing a colorful jacket. Okay, this is Her nasty. eyes and mouth were both wide open. Then she suddenly shook her body and started to dance like a mad person. Being surprised, he finally woke up. He checked the time and then he realized that the boarding time had already passed. All of a sudden, he received a phone call from his mother while he was thinking about what he should do next. As soon as he answered the phone, he heard his mother's anxious voice. She was worried about him. Confused, he turned on the television and the news made his heart drop. The plane that he was supposed to be on had crashed. Furthermore, the airline's logo looked very familiar to him. I was bullied when I was in high school. One day, I fell asleep while in class, and when I opened my eyes, it was already dark outside. During the class, no one bothered to wake me up, so I had to leave the classroom alone. The dark hallway was scary and tears were rolling down my face. I was really sad, realizing that I was being bullied. Anyway, I was passing by a full-length mirror in the middle of the school stairs. Then, as I was walking downstairs with my cell phone's flashlight, I saw myself in the mirror by accident and I couldn't take my eyes off of it for a while. I was not reflected on the mirror. Being confused, I looked more straight ahead this time, but still, I couldn't see myself. Staring in the mirror for a few more minutes, I then screamed and ran out of the school. Come to think of it now, I think they didn't see me in the classroom that day. That's a short film. I only got like three down and one more to go. It happened when I was around 11 years that. old. Place, one day, I was now at my friend me. Kenzie's house. My other friend Emma joined us too. It was a lazy weekend, so we decided to kill some time by baking cookies and doing other things. We all gathered in Kenzie's room and did our geometry homework, which was the main reason we were all there. But soon after, we got bored doing it since we were young teenage girls. So we jumped on the bed, watched YouTube and Netflix, and told each other scary stories. The one I'll never forget is Kenzie's story. She told me a story that kept me paranoid for the rest of my stay at the house. 
She told us the owner of the house was found murdered in this house, and she sometimes feels like someone lives in her closet. A few hours later, Kenzie's parents said that they were going to a party and wouldn't be back until 6 in the morning. Kenzie didn't want to spend the night with her grandma and little sister, so she suggested that we should have a sleepover. It sounded like a great idea, so we just called each of our parents and it took a lot of convincing to have the sleepover. When we got permission, we all changed into Kenzie's pajamas, got in bed, and watched something scary. It was almost 8 p.m. Kenzie's room was so messy, it almost looked like a pig's pen, so we decided that we would record a time lapse of us cleaning. We were in the middle of cleaning the room when the doorbell suddenly rang. It was our pizza delivery. We all forgot to turn the camera off and left to eat. We just sat in the living room, ate, and talked for a while. After we finished eating the pizza, we went back to her room. I realized that we left the camera on. But as I reached to grab my phone, I felt something. I was anxious, even though her room was very silent. So I told my friends to come closer. We all stood there and watched the video. As soon as we left, the window opened slowly. There was a man who came inside, and then he ran into the bathroom. We all froze knowing that someone was in the bathroom, which was connected to this room, but tried not to make any noise. Then, Kenzie told us that we should all leave this room, so we did just that. We went to her grandma's room with her little sister. We immediately locked the door, called the police, and Kenzie's parents. Thankfully, the police arrived in less than five minutes. When they arrived at the house, they went to Kenzie's room and found the man. Near the sink was a gun and a pocket what? knife, and they arrested him. It turns out that he was put in jail last week for raping young girls and then murdering them. But he escaped prison and tried to find another victim. I couldn't help but imagine what would have happened if I didn't look at the footage on my camera. To this day, I hate going to sleepovers. Now I'm 16, and I heard that the man escaped again after killing the security guards. I hope he's not looking for me or my friends. That's just a stupid idea. Guys, I think that's probably gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I came when I did to do... Um, apparently it's cold down here, so, um, yes, we need drinking all this water, oh my gosh, um, uh, guys, so, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video for today, Don't forget to hit the bell, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.